You and Your Young Child, a program of information and services available for you and your child from prenatal to age five. You and Your Young Child has been brought to you in part by Minor Family Dentistry and by the Sternberg Museum of Natural History. Minor Family Dentistry would like to bring you the following dental health tip. It's recommended to have a dental checkup no later than your child's first birthday. An adult should brush for a young child and monitor older children's brushing to ensure a good job is done. Flossing should start when teeth are touching. Minor Family Dentistry wishes you good dental health. Families, including children of all ages, are welcome. Minor Family Dentistry, 1010 Downing and Hayes. Find them in the next tech directory. So, you think you have skeletons in your closet? Come to Sternberg Museum, where we let our skeletons out of the closet. Hello, and welcome to You and Your Young Child, the program devoted to early childhood. My name is Dana Stanton, and I'm the coordinator of USD 489 Early Childhood Grants. And with me today is Casey Davenon. Good morning, Casey. Good morning. Now, first of all, Casey, tell us what organization you work for and what do you do there? I work for Interfaith Housing Services, and I am the Western Kansas coordinator for the western half of the state. Mm -hmm. um, basically, that means I run the CASH program, which stands for Creating Assets, Savings, and Hope, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to bring it into different communities. Now, uh, we were talking earlier. How far did you drive? Where did you drive from this morning? I drove from Ensign, Ensign. so about two and a half hours. Yes. But this is a program that does cover this area as mm -hmm. well. Now, you mentioned CASH, the CASH program. Tell us once again, slowly, what does that stand for? CASH stands for Creating Assets, Savings, and Hope. It's a financial education program that teaches, the, teaches people the importance of saving. Mm -hmm. Now, is this a program that people can just sign up for? Yeah. Um, how this works is we're going to offer it to the community. Um, if people want to come to our informational meeting, which we'll be holding sometime soon in the near future, probably mm -hmm. after January, mm -hmm. um, we give information about the program, who we are, what we do, and how it helps you. Okay. Now, how would someone qualify? Are there requirements for someone to just come to the meeting? There are. You have to income qualify. Most mm -hmm. students generally qualify. If you have a larger family or even if you have a couple kids, it all factors in. Mm -hmm. So so it's based on your family's income. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, once someone starts going to the classes, what do you need to do? Is this? I'm assuming this is more than just a one-time class. Right. What do you need to do to continue in the program and make progress? Basically, basically, the cash program, it matches your savings two to one. So if you save a dollar, it matches you with two dollars. So if you want to go back to school, if you want to go back to co um, Votech, college, doesn't matter, start or expand a business, mm -hmm. buy or repair a home, etc., all you have to do is attend six hours of financial education, or and then also you have to attend four hours of life skills classes. Okay, so this is this is there's an, a very much a financial incentive to participate in this for a family, correct? I guess I didn't realize that. <laughs> yeah. Um, part of the program is if you like I said, it matches two to one. So that basically means if you save a dollar, which is Let's say a thousand dollars. You put, a, you put a th one dollar in a savings account. It'll give you two. So with a lot of school, well, the max amount will match up is up to six thousand okay. dollars. So for tuition, that's a hefty amount of your tuition dollars. Mm -hmm. that, that's a great savings. Mm -hmm. Now, if a family's participating, they're signing up. They've started saving. Um, is there a time limit um, put on that saving period? You have four years to save, with a mm -hmm. fifth year to purchase your asset. So with school, I mean, you can go to school four years, four to five on that, because technically at the end of five, you'd already have your asset. Mm -hmm. So Now, is there a set amount, you know, that everybody has to save at least a minimum of $100, or a, they can't go over $5,000? They have to save a minimum of $20 for at least six months. Now, with school, it's different, but if you're starting for, if you're wanting to start your own business, you have to be in the program six months, put a minimum of $20 in. There's no max amount. We encourage, you know, taking your tax returns and bit putting it Investing. big. Yeah, basically depositing all of that in there so you get to your goal faster. Mm -hmm. Now, what kind of assets? You've mentioned college, a home. What other things could people use this program for? Buying a home here, we can partner and piggyback, as I call, off of a few different programs. Mm -hmm. um, you can also repair your home. Um, 
and starting or expanding a business. So if you have something you're wanting to get kicked off, we can help you with that. We hook you up with a business coach. We hold your hand through all of these assets that you're wanting to do and be your big, basically be your biggest cheerleader. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a great program. Now, are there any other requirements besides um, the income eligibility? They also have to have some kind of earned income. Now, child support and alimony um, and all of that and disability checks do not count as earned mm -hmm. income. So you can take that off of your family's earned income on that side. Um, but you do have to have some kind of a job, whether it's a part-time job mm -hmm. or something. Something that shows to me that you have something coming in. Mm -hmm. Now, if someone, this sounds like a great program, and, you know, we could only touch on a little bit of it here, but if someone had more questions, um, what, what is your phone number that they can contact you? They can call, contact our main office, which is the Hutchison office. It is 620-662-8370, or they can catch us on our website at www ihs-housing.org. Okay, and we'll put that on the bottom of the screen. And also, Casey, when you're ready to have those meetings, let us know and we'll put it on our HayesParents.com um, mm -hmm. website. Um, Casey, thank you so much for driving all the way for our, for our program today. You've been watching You and Your Young Child, the program devoted to early childhood. Parents, remember, you are your child's first and best teacher. Thank you. Thanks for watching You and Your Young Child a program of information and services available for you and your child from prenatal to age five. You can watch the program weekdays in the noon and nine o'clock hours. You and Your Young Child has been brought to you in part by Minor Family Dentistry and by the Sternberg Museum of Natural History.